Hey guys, in this video, I have a couple of interesting work from home jobs that you probably haven't seen before. And some of these are some that I haven't actually noticed, even though I know of the company. So these are actually very easy. If you're a fairly lazy person that wants a remote job where you can work usually part time, I would also look into these. These either don't require an interview or don't require a resume. So they're very easy to qualify for. They're 100% remote and you essentially spend most of your time watching and reading content and basically reviewing it. So basically the first one is at a company called TELUS International, which is a company that has a lot of different types of remote jobs. And TELUS International has um, this AI community section. You wanna start there. And when you look at the AI community section, you'll find just work from home jobs that are all over the world, all sorts of different languages and they give you the option to apply with very little experience or any kind of degree or anything like that. Very few credentials needed. Now they have one available right now called an inter internet safety evaluator, which this is the U S version. As an example, they do have this in other countries as well. So if you're interested, you can look at internet safety evaluator. You'll notice, you know, you see India as an example is one other country that they're um, looking for people right now but you could just type that in and look for different internet safety evaluators. But I'm gonna use the US one as an example. For this one, you can see the pay starts you around $14 per hour. This could vary, of course, depending on your country. This might go by cost of living in your country and many other factors. But basic requirements, you must be a resident wherever you are applying, you must have full proficiency in written and verbal English or whatever language you're applying in, high school diploma or GED qualification, for cultural awareness purposes, you should be living in the country you're applying in for the last three consecutive years. Preferred skills for this job, Gmail must be your primary email account. Familiarity with current and historical business, media, sport, news, social media, and cultural affairs in your country. Experience and use of web browsers to navigate and interact with a variety of content. Must have an understanding of various social media environments and dynamics, including memes, virality, and other trends access to and use of a broadband internet connection and associated computer and software to perform the work all provided at your own expense. Addition, additional job description, they're currently seeking dynamic and creative people who have a strong interest in improving online search results and are comfortable working on sensitive and adult content. So make sure you're okay with that. Obviously some people like to stay away from those types of things. Um, or it might be disturbing to some people. So make sure you're okay with seeing, again, sensitive or adult content online. A very important aspect of this role will involve reviewing the content of potential upsetting or offensive material to make internet browsing safer and more secure for all users. So you're trying to help improve internet safety, in other words. Through this work, you will be making a valuable contribution by expressing your opinion on the quality and content of what is currently out there on the web and protecting users from viewing unsuitable material. You should have a minimum of 12 months experience using Gmail as primary email, daily access to and use of broadband internet connection to perform the work and an Android V 4.2 or higher or iPhone running iOS version 14.0 or higher to perform the work on. So that's all they require. That's all you're doing. It's very simple. You're going to, basically consume content on the internet. You're gonna look at internet search results in search engines like Google, Bing, etc., And you're gonna evaluate whether or not um, things need to be flagged or removed because they are sensitive. They are either adult oriented, they're basically upsetting or something like that, that basically could be offensive to groups of people. So you're consuming whatever it is, videos, images, search results, text, and that's the majority of your job here. So again, you can find these in all sorts of different countries. And as far as the reviews for the company, they have a, they have 4.4 thousand reviews, 3.6 out of five stars, 68% recommend working here to a friend. So they have very good ratings at this company you would be working for um, benefit wise. I don't think you will get a lot of benefits here. They're known for having pretty solid benefits, but this is something that typically doesn't require an interview or a resume and it's something you can do without experience. So you wouldn't really want to get your hopes up about benefits or those types of things. 
Also, again, the interview experience is usually pretty easy to apply here. The difficulty for getting a job here is very easy. And, you know, a lot of jobs on here, they'll mention, you know, interviews. But if you look for the ones like this specifically, these types of jobs don't require interviews. Usually the ones in the AI community section, you can avoid that with. So the next company that has a similar type of job to this, that, but a little bit different, is Gaggle.net. Gaggle.net is a company that does basically K through 12 student safety online, and they have different solutions for that. They have a job titled Help Save Lives Content Review Remote, and they are looking for independent contractors pretty much all the time for temporary non-renewing contract positions monitoring online student activity. This contract work allows you the flexibility to work within the constraints of your own schedule. So they tell you right here, you can make your own schedule. The choice is yours. You work when it's best for you. Gaggle Safety Management offers a 24 seven service that is used to identify and un uncover drug use, bullying, threats, and many other problems at school, violence, teen depression, suicidal intentions, and abusive domestic situations for K through 12 through various forms of communication. Although you would be an employee of Gaggle, the independent contractors they're looking for will work with the Gaggle safety team and are able to make a positive impact in the lives of K through 12 students across the world. So responsibilities for this job are kind of similar, except you're focusing on helping students and basically the types of things that students post online. You're making sure there are no signs of cyberbullying and violence or things that might be, you know, indicators of maybe some problems at home and stuff like that. You're basically just helping trying, you're helping to try and improve the lives of students here. So responsibilities include monitor and analyze student activity to identify potentially inappropriate usage, including words, phrases, statements, and images, quickly and efficiently process content while maintaining a high level of accuracy, process for a minimum of 10 hours each week, escalate questionable findings to safety team reps for additional in-depth analysis and additional tasks as assigned. Requirements, experience using various computer and web-based applications in a professional environment, interest and enthusiasm for reading as the position requires focused attention to reading various links of content, ability to delineate between potentially harmful student matters and harmless situations, experience with tech and social media culture, knowledge of trends and slang used by children and teenagers to help identify potential issues, ability to exhibit tolerance of and respect for others' opinions, strong communication skills, adaptability to change, ability to work independently, experience working as an independent contractor is preferred but not necessarily required, access to high-speed internet, satellite is not acceptable, access to a computer, Chromebook or laptop, minimum operating system, Mac, which would be El Capitan or above, Windows 7 or above, Fedora 28 or above. Minimum processor required, Core i3 Plus, and experience with Slack or other business-based chat applications is a plus, but not necessarily required either. Additional considerations, the independent contractor assignment is not guaranteed for any length of time. Workloads and hours may vary. So both of the jobs I'm showing you here are something you would do usually part-time with a flexible schedule that you can create on your own. You get to set your own hours with both of these. Uh, contracts are renewed when minimum requirements of the job are met or exceeded on a weekly basis. There's potential for contract renewal depending on workflow and personal ability to fulfill responsibilities outlined above. This contract requires you to be able to view content of a sensitive nature, which could be graphic at times. None of the content reviewed will be stored on the personal computer. And basically, they're just telling you that you need to be okay with viewing sensitive or you know potentially adult content and things like that to basically um, get the job done. Again, most of these jobs, you're gonna have to be okay with that, but you're getting a pretty laid back you know job that you can do where basically you're just you know looking at content online, you're reviewing that, looking that looking up things you may need to flag or um, report, and that's about it. So Gaggle, as far as reviews, as far as what it's like to work here, 3.7 out of 5 stars, 62% recommend working here to a friend. Benefit-wise, you're not probably gonna get benefits here. They have decent benefit ratings, but I would kind of you know, not count on that. As far as interviews, if you look at what people have said about the uh, moderator type jobs like these, you'll notice that someone said content moderator interview, basically they took a brief test reviewing their policies. You don't have to submit a resume at all. Also, you need to pass a background check. It's a very simple 
um, application process. So it looks like you can apply with minimum, if any, credentials for this type of job. So you'll mostly have to pass a test of some sort. And difficulty is very easy to get a job here at only 2.5 out of 5. Most companies I review have around 3 out of 5. So if you look at how much you could possibly be paid here, if you look at the reviews, on average, you're looking at these top three or four results here. So you have content reviewer at around 22, safety rep, which is pretty much the same thing, around 28. I would assume that's the same job because that's what you're doing is you're a rep that's basically making the internet safer and doing that for the entirety of the job. Content moderator, also very similar, I would say. So a lot of these don't have the exact job title on here, but I would say these are the closest things to them, all ranging between around 21 to 28 an hour on average. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. Please click the like button if you thought this was helpful specifically. The more likes I get on a video, the more I know to do that in the future. And I know to find more opportunities similar to these in the future if it gets a lot of likes. And don't forget to leave a comment if you want to suggest something that I cover in future videos or if you want to ask me a question. And I'll see you in the next video.